Today, I am excited to try three different types of matcha side by side. We're going to compare them, see how much they taste differently, and yeah, just dive fully right into them. I am so excited. Thank you so much to Naoki for sponsoring this video and sending these three samples of different Japanese matcha to us to try. Thank you. Now I have these all brewed up as a matcha tea and it's very important to make sure that you sift your matcha prior to mixing it up. However you wanna mix that up, whether that is with the bamboo whisk or uh, an electric whisk, however you feel, you can even shake it in a bottle. Naoki's website actually shows you all the different ways to brew up matcha. I will leave all the links in the description down below. They are all a lovely shade of green. They're very similar in the looks. First up, let's check out Nisho Bloom. I'm gonna leave the name on the screen uh, in case I am not pronouncing that correctly. So, okay, first up, this one. It just smells light. There's a hint of sweetness to it. Sweet, very, not overly sweet, just like nice and sweet. Slightly vegetal, but like not overly that way. Has a nice hint of sweetness to it. Okay, let's dive into our next one. Cleanse our palate. All right, next up we have Wazuka, Wazuka, Hilltop. <laughs> This one smells much stronger. Now I mix these all up the same. Ooh. This one has a little bit more bitterness to it. It's not as sweet and it um, kind of packs that punch like of, you know, like, ooh, I'm right in your face. <laughs> Still lovely, but I think I would rather the first one more than this one. Let's jump into our third one. Cleanse that palette. Third is We Harmony. <laughs> it smells much, uh, if you took the two that we just tried and you kind of blended them together, it's kind of like a nice balance in between those two. has like a hint of bitterness, a little bit of vegetal, that unami, and like a, a light sweetness. Not as sweet as the first one, but not nearly as bitter as the second one. Hmm. I think if I was Goldilocks, I would be picking this one. It is the perfect balance. Hmm. That's very nice. And if you're curious, I have been using Royal Albert's Valdor as my teacup for today. Thank you very much, Jeanette. <laughs> I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are on matcha. Do you love exploring different matchas? What is your favorite way to have a matcha? I love having an iced matcha latte, as many of you guys might already know. This is a spectacular way though to try matchas as just like a plain matcha tea, so you can really explore those different flavors. And if you're looking to try Naoki, I will leave all the information down below. I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments down below. Until next time, take care, bye.